Breaking news just out of New Vuparis. The Golden City appears to be dealing with more water than previously reported. Statement from Mayor Spike Viper seem to be indicating that the massive dam project has been opened in an attempt to curtail the flooding. We have some men on the ground. Let's see what this citizen has to say. My house. Oh my god, my house. I just, the, the water started coming out of the forest and I, I had to throw my children into the kayaks. Had the flood trucks not come, it would have been. Here's a citizen from the forestry industry. I was just growing trees like, you know, like normal, cutting them down, lumberjacking, you know, and then some rain fell on me. And, you know, that's pretty normal. I mean, trees like water, but then more water come down and then I saw a wave. Thankfully, the helicopter depot was nearby and I've been relocated to the mountain district. They're saying they have plans for evacuation. That's horrible. Do you think the government has any false plans developed? I think that the Vuperian government should stop acting like galactic police. They keep trying to get involved down on Earth. Like, I understand a need for expansion, but my house is literally underwater. I cut down trees. I like the government to not take part in my life. When it comes to wood, the government has no place. They should never have put that damn dam there in the first place. Ever since the thing went up and we've had shorter trees. We have reports that the Vuperian National Guard is interested in moving Vuperians to Earth settlements. We can't confirm these reports, however. We've actually just managed to gain a hold of President Spike Viper himself. Mr. Hooper, what is your administration doing to stop this disaster? Quite honestly, the damage is far more than we had expected. The city was built on a large aquifer, and as the city grew and the weight of our buildings pushed down on the water table, uh, the water table actually pushed up as the aquifer got crushed. The city has been sinking for years, and we're trying to send in the military right now to evacuate citizens to Earth. Is Earth safe? We have claims that there is a war between multiple major powers on that planet. You know, those small conflicts are largely overblown. They're under our control. Uh, we have little choice elsewhere. We don't have infrastructure in place anywhere on Spook Vooper to handle such a large population. We also have San Vuprisco, which is on a fault zone, so we don't want to move people where there's the potential for another disaster. You heard it here, folks. Thank you, Mr. Vooper. It is no issue. Stay safe. Hail Vuperia. Hail, Hail Vuperia. Vuperia. Reports are flooding in that the water is rising dramatically. All districts in the new Vuperus region are affected. We have a statement from the mayor of New Yam. The water's spilling over the walls. The flood trucks have set up a perimeter around the main square, but and we're trying to beam everyone up into the police station, but we. We have 30,000 residents. How can we keep the Yam race alive at this rate? We still haven't had any signals from the Earth settlement. We're sick. We have reports that the military aircraft are carrying passengers out of the area. This just in. President Spike Viper has taken a spot on an experimental space plane to Earth to oversee the settlement of the Vuperian mainland. We will see how this develops. Tune in next time. Hail Vuperia. Hello and welcome to a new series. 
Jeez, please don't kill me. Um, new Vuparis had its run. Uh, things began to get very repetitive, and I don't like that. Um, I also had slight, um, very bad decisions when it came to designing the city. I was not planning on it getting as far as it did, and between the frame rate drops and the traffic issues, and the fact that I would have had to rip down and redo much of the map, and there were bus stops and stuff floating everywhere that couldn't be destroyed, I decided that to make our million population city, we were going to have to start anew with what we had learned. And because of that, I spent a very long time designing a brand new map to be used for this purpose. It's a lot more tame than the other map. It's a lot more uh, flat. We do have some mountain areas over there. But overall, I think that this new area is pretty nice for our goals and you guys are probably wondering where this is located um because of the global warming disaster on new vuparis and on spook vuper as a whole we have sent a crew of people to colonize the uncolonized parts of vuperia which we have just taken over so Welcome to North America, <laughs> because we are going to begin building up our Earth base. I know, how exciting. How extremely exciting. Now this is like a part of the Hearts of Iron 4 series in a way. Look at that, tying everything together, it's beautiful. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start getting ready for a new city. So I'm actually gonna connect those together, and I actually have an idea. The idea is to go like this. And like this. Probably should've made the end point first. That probably would have been a good idea. So let's go ahead and make the little area I want over here. Oh, I messed that up, didn't I? I did. I did indeed mess that up. I hope you guys understand my reasons for ending New Vuparis. Um, I decided that it would be more fun if we ended it with a bit of a bang. And I think that was... Uh, not a literal bang, but we've already done meteors in the past, so I figured that having a bit of a great flood sort of uh, biblical <laughs> disaster would, uh, would do for the purposes. And then we're gonna have a way to leave here, so you go in here and you leave here. Do I have a one-way road? That would be really convenient. Yes, I do. What is this? Small one-way road with bicycle lanes. How nice. So that goes that way, and that goes that way. Look at that. We can zone some residential. Very nice. So this city is actually going to be much more than a city. It's going to be uh, the base of operations for Vuperia, which is our Earth city slash country. Um, mostly country. But obviously we don't want to just use the old American uh, areas. We want to make our own cities and culture. So we have taken some great plots of land. I don't actually know where this is in America, but uh... You, you can you can guess from the uh, climate and stuff, I guess, because I know we're specific in mind. Actually, that is actually a much better idea. Going from up here. Down here. So this series is going to be a lot more based on making things actually look nice and uh, 
planning ahead for the city. Uh, I have a tendency to kind of just rush my districts and stuff, and they end up looking very non-pretty and not being planned the best. So this this series, I want that to change. I want this to be much more uh, planned ahead. And hopefully that'll show. There we go. We'll get three different areas. So we'll get residential. We'll get industrial. And we will get some commercial right off the bat. Oh, and for the new Vuparis download, I am actually going to put that up at some point. Just remind me on the Discord. Because people do want that. There's some water. People tend to like water. Bam. And here's some power. People tend to like power. That power will actually get to the water as well, which is pretty nice. Um, then we're going to need to dump sewage. People generally don't like sewage, so we're going to put it way down here. We're going to hook that all up in a way that will actually cover a bit of the commercial with water. Efficiency is key. And then we do that, and it's looking good. So finally, we're just going to go ahead and connect this all together to electricity. Across here, we can actually go under the bridge. And fantastic, we have basic services for people. Um, the people over there are also going to want electricity. So we will bring this across and over. And over. And there we are, our very first part of Vuperia. Isn't it exciting? Look at them moving in. They have no clue what they're in for. And it, it won't end in watery death this time since there is nothing that could actually do that. There's no lifted uh, water source. There is no death. It's just going to be a nice little city. And I'm hoping... I did actually get prop and tree anarchy. And I have the mod so I can place props in game. Where is it though? Okay, we're back. Let's continue. So the first thing we want to do is get our first road structure underway. When I made this map, which I will also put the download up for at some point, um, I decided to make the road flow a little bit more elegant than the last. So we've got a turbine interchange connecting together four different directions of traffic. And that goes into this little uh, splitter to get people out to our city. I think it's a little bit elegant having the highway spread out like this so that we can use them at multiple points. I don't know. I think that this is going to work very well for our purposes. We will see, though. This game isn't very forgiving. We are losing money, although we just got the thing because we made our people happy. So let's go ahead and give them their first service. Actually, not yet. We don't have nearly enough. We need to really expand before we do that. We want to keep our money in check. Got to keep it in check. Okay, so... We do want to use as much space as possible, though. I had a bad habit of not using my space. So what we're going to do is we're going to make that a one-way uh, road to go out to the highway. And then we'll use some two-way roads aka normal roads to build out to the coast and I think I may have went a little bit too close to the coast there we go Pause this again. We broke a power line. We'll just fix that right up.
There we go, all fixed. And we will just continue designing this road here. It's a little bit dark, but I think I can figure it out for the most part. Oh, we can actually connect this straight here. I think I'll put a little park area here. So we'll split here and here. Which leaves a lot of open space. We're going to try to leave more open space this time than last time as well. So that we can do a little bit nicer things. Parks. Uh, wonders. All of that good stuff. Wonders are in Civilization V. What am I talking about? World wonders are not a thing in this game. Whoops. Uh, my point being, it's monuments in this game, or the special buildings. But uh, my point being, we'll have space to put sp uh, stuff when we need to. There we go. And we'll hook them up because they're having trouble. There we go, all fixed. Speed up time a bit, things are going well. Uh, we do have a lack of sh workers, however, we should have people moving in over here soon. Yay, people over on the coast are moving in. And we can actually really take advantage of the coast here. We go like this. So we want it to split out from here so that the traffic doesn't get bad there. So we split it out from there and then swing around here. And now we have another road. We could actually probably pull that off again if we're careful. Yeah, it doesn't give us a lot of spots for building houses. It's kind of a terrible area. Uh, but you know what? It's good enough. And we can actually start ripping down these power lines already. Uh, not quite that far. But, somewhat. We also have to expand the water grid for our good friends. Welcome to Vuperia. World Conquest is ours. There we go. Looking pretty good. Get some more of that green, both in money and in residential, because they're pretty much the same thing right now. We have a very wooded area this time, and I actually really like that. It looks uh, very nice. Probably helps with the noise pollution. Um, we'll be able to have a strong logging industry. I mean, we don't have much industry yet, but once we do, we should definitely look into logging. Uh, we can definitely see the beginnings of a city here. And I'm trying to use my space better this time. If we want to hit a million population, we're going to have to use our space very... Very well. Ooh, we get to buy some areas now. We get police stations, firehouses, and a local police department. And it begins our conquest. Oh, over here. This is going to be a massive, massive... This is, this is where I'm going to have to be very strategic about how I build my city. Uh, this is going to be one massive section. But I think I'm going to start on the other side first. I'm not really ready for an investment that big. I can't use the very fancy road types or anything, so it doesn't make sense to get myself into the area. I don't want to have to rebuild it later like I would have had to do for uh, New Vuparis. Just because I didn't have access to the things I needed when I built it. Makes more sense to be patient. And patience is sometimes hard, but... It's also important. You can also break this cable here. Okay. There we go. That's good. Guys are gonna have a lot of patience. Well, going to have to have a lot of patience with me this time because I really want to do things right rather than fast, which means you're gonna see a lot of me doing things and bulldozing them and doing them again. I want this city to look absolutely magnificent. There we go. That's a whole lot of coastline there. 
And now if we go along the back, straight up to here, all the way up. There we go. And then here is where we're just going to take a sharp turn and bam. Fantastic. We have laid out the grid for a massive amount of city. We can actually start painting it. The Cosa areas we're going to start with. Higher quality, more money from taxes. We'll start gridding it all in a second as well. But keeping it simple to start. Look at that. I don't think that looks bad. Though I do think the lack of power looks bad. We also have the power to set policies. I don't really have to right now. Okay, looking good. So let's go ahead and start gridding it. With just a little bit of extra space. So I want to be able to fit some stuff into these. Instead of sticking everything on the side. I want everything to be able to be upgraded without displacing uh, everything. Because our issue before was whenever we wanted to upgrade a road or something, it would hit another road next to it. So having a little bit of buffer room for when we expand is always a good idea. No, we'll just leave this one very open. Okay, so we'll leave that like that. Looking good to start. If we just keep to this pattern, for the most part, as much as City Skylines lets us. I do have Fine Road Anarchy, but I don't want to use it too much. It can get a little bit glitchy. Although right now I'm going to use it. There's no reason it should complain at me. There we go. There we go. Fantastic. That would be a little bit overkill, putting that there. Okay, good. So now we have pretty much enough residential area to kick us off uh, through the starting stages. We need to make sure that we have a good backbone and good entrances and exits into this city, though. We don't want it to get too messy. We do have to worry about trash. There we go, looking good. Looking very good. So these roads here. What's the difference between this road and this road? I don't know. Uh, I'm just going to use this because it'll, it's what I was using for everything else. So there is a way in. There's a way out. Could actually take advantage of this. Make a way in. Make a way out. Now there's a lot of entrances and exits from the largest part of the city, which should keep the traffic at bay. And now we're going to need some police, because people are complaining about police. We'll put them next to... Oh, tiny town. Fantastic. More money, more stuff we can do, less problems. No, more problems. It's going to expect us to actually, like, have fire coverage and stuff now. And the fire coverage we will put right at the center here. So I can get the entire city very quickly and efficiently. Look at that. We've got the starts of a city here. Very exciting stuff. 
I'm actually feeling good about this. I always like, it's always fun designing something new. Not having a ton of constraints based on what you did in the past. There we go. And we're all set. This area here is kind of a sharp cut, but we're going to uh, hopefully wrap this around this entire bay area. This is kind of a lake. It's a river, but it kind of stops here. It has a nice bay. We can probably make a nice tourist area over there in the future. Okay, things are going well. Good start to the series. So now we have access to this, which should, yes, give us access to all this fun stuff. So we can actually decorate our city now, which I may actually uh, spend a bit of time doing fancy stuff because that would be fun. I am going to say, though, I'm going to need to find a way to get my Vuperian flag here. As much as I like a massive Walmart sign. Which I'm going to get rid of because that's just ridiculous. There's not even a Walmart there. Um, I would like to have some stuff of our own we can use. There are so many things, though. Like, holy moly. All the signs. And then, oh, random stuff. Oh, that's cool. So it's a little bit more organic. Then there's industry stuff. Park stuff. So if we really wanted, we could just make a little park over here. You know. Well, that kind of sunk into the ground, so I think you're actually supposed to use that with a park. That probably makes more sense. Inflatable tubes. A full park set. Look at that. Yeah, these props are a lot of fun. Um, we are going to make some nice areas. I think I'm going to make a mansion uh, for the mayor's mansion. Oh, there's all the spacecraft and stuff from the other thing. Oh, rioters. Oh, look, it's Mac. It's the commies. What are they actually holding? Oh, it doesn't, it doesn't actually say anything. Let's get rid of them. Nobody complains in the great Vuperia. Everyone is happy. Massive spaceships. Some tanks. You know, all the things we could put places. Very exciting. Ooh, that's a fancy bridge. Although it's really lowered down. Can you raise that? No? Okay. Fantastic. I'm actually excited. There's so much we can do. I mean, I don't know. Oh, solar panels. Put solar panels on everything. Look at that. Just... Just on the side of the road. Who doesn't like some solar panels just jutting out of the road? I did get a mod that lets you put them on top of buildings. However, I'm going to have to figure all this out. So... There's no options for them. Okay. I don't know what the button is to turn on the prop anarchy. Um, I'll figure that out. Right now, I just kind of want to look through all the props, though. There's so many. So much fun. Prop and road anarchy. I have to remember the button for that. Residential, mailboxes, beach stuff. Ooh. 
rail towers. Oh, cool lights and stuff too. Boomtown, we're growing very quickly now. Uh, we've unlocked a ton of stuff, including cemeteries. We should probably get our health care and cemeteries up now. Look at that, we have big areas, so that's not even an issue. Just plop the cemetery right there. Now everyone's happy. And for our health, we will go ahead and put it right over here, in the center of that area. I'm gonna try to spread out the services so everyone has something special nearby. We're definitely growing very quickly. 1,430. I don't know what these are. Floodlights? Colored floodlights, actually. Red warning light. Warning. Warning. Warning! How beautiful. Yeah, lots of Vuperian flags. If someone wants to make me a Vuperian flag asset, that would be awesome. Now these are the important ones, the uh, parking spots and stuff. The issue is I don't actually have uh, that Prop and Tree Anarchy enabled. Let me just Google Prop and Tree Anarchy. There we go. What are the commands? <sighs> Let's see, use shift P. There we go. And now we should be able to put these. Oh, we can! Look at that. So we could actually make like cobble roads if we wanted. Or cobble parts of roads. And now the crossing is literally cobble. It's beautiful. Oh, I'm going to have so much fun with this. Wow, drains. Those would have been pretty useful. Uh, back in Vuparis. A lot of things would have been useful. <laughs> How exciting. Some destroyed road. Uh... It's not very good looking, but maybe it'll be useful at some point. So many things we can do! Speed limit signs. Whoa! I can put a billboard on this person's house. Late stage capitalism. <laughs> uh, I don't endorse that. Uh, it's just a joke. Communism doesn't work. Um, but yeah. There is a lot of stuff we can do, and I'm really excited going into the future now. Because of all the stuff we can do. Hey guys, this road is actually closed. If you could please not enter this road. Thanks. You're all dying. All of you. You're all dead. Congratulations. Like I said, I'm planning on being a lot more aesthetic this time around when it comes to uh, the series. And let's go ahead and uh, celebrate that with our first little artistic piece. Let's go ahead. Uh, right next to the industrial area, right here, we will add a beautiful decoration that will completely change the course of this series. Ready for this? So we're going to build this fence. See, look at that. And after only like five minutes, we have this beautiful area, which is going to help Vuperia. 
I just wanted to mess around with the props. But my point being, we can add a whole lot more detail to the city now. Um, I don't know if that actually means anything to you guys, but I think it's pretty cool. Um, I think it'll be pretty nice to be able to do, especially once we can put the flags down for Vuperia, have it be a true part of the Empire. So, I guess we're gonna end it there. Um, thank you guys for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe if you've enjoyed. I know it's sad the series is over, but I hope you guys are excited for something new. And I will see you all next time. I wonder if I can... Oh, I can. Can't I? Come on, I can make this stick off the side. How do I make that prop snapping kick in? Is there a button I have to click? Ah. Uh, I think it's actually on because it's actually able to snap to the buildings. No, it's not really snapping though. Something isn't right. Oh, look at that. That is beautiful. So, I'll see you all next time.